ben in de kut, ik ben in de kut, ik ben in de kut en ik ben in de kut, ben in de kut, ik ben in de kut, ben in de kut en ik ben in de kut, ben in de kut, ik ben in de kut. What's up guys, it's your boy, man like so, and we back here with another reaction video. AFG, 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 Air Force Yeah man, we got JD on with why incest should be legalized. You know, we got this series right now with Nico Omelana from London, in it? If I'm saying it right, saying it right. Omolana. Omilana. Omo. Omo. Imo. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna stop. Okay, well, let's go into it. Let's check it out. Yeah. Okay. Today's TED Talk is mm -hmm. why incest should And we're not gonna pause, guys. guys so I'm not gonna pause, right. but just after all of this, we're gonna react to it. What the heck is going on right now? This is a series where I've done some of the craziest things with the UK's biggest prankster, Nick Amalana. We are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through or who will fold first. We're doing all this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? Who is the biggest? Double double oh, who y'all guys think is the biggest menace? Double double oh. they, they both crazy as F. No, Welcome okay. to the double episode, y'all. We've been arrested in Paris, had a two-time world heavyweight champion press us, been arrested at the PGA Tour, mm -hmm. and had a racist debate. And no one folded yet, so I knew whatever Nico said Tell me down below if you guys want me to react to the difference. Hello, my friend. How you doing, homie? <laughs> Bring it in. It's crazy. You ready, yeah? I'm ready. What I'm going to have you doing today is... Wait, first, come on hard. Oh, speech. Oh my god, yes, you know. <laughs> so, are you ready for the plan? I'm ready, I'm ready. Do you want to unveil it yourself? I've decided that the world's driest sport cricket mm -hmm. needs more excitement. So, yeah. the best way to do that is by getting Jid to sneak onto the cricket field in front of thousands of people and make yeah. him join the superstar team of India. And That's from this moment crazy. on, he'll be remembered as Rahul Jadion. That's crazy. Legend. That's crazy. You've got to stick on the field. <laughs> 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 this, is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is inspired by a man called Jarvo69, who does this literally every single cricket match. So he sent us his uniform. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Listen now, Dijon. I'm going to send you a signal when someone gets batted out, okay. and then that's when you come in as the Indian batsman to save the day. You got it in you, you look slightly Indian. I think I could pass for it. Yeah, you could definitely pass. Probably no one's going to bat an eye. I'm going to hit a home runner, I'm going to get signed. And yeah, <laughs> and then I'll take 10%. Brody already has That's me crazy. breaking the law in another country that I don't know, and I could get deported. That's crazy. Might work. That's crazy. We entered the stadium, and now I had they, to this the is perfect spot to get on the field. Top All you just had to do top to make this content. a success was just stay under the radar yeah. until I gave him the signal. Mm -hmm. India! India! Nobody wants to hop. Hey, my man, represent it. I'm the James Anderson of India. <laughs> Came over to show support, you know? Boom! So we're here at the stadium. We've got my good friend right here. Sorry, what's your name? Pushan. And you're supporting oh, yeah. India? Yeah, I'm supporting India. Oh, okay. You're going to get smoked. But I heard you got a good batsman. Yeah, I mean, we've got fun playing right now. Rahul Jadion. Sorry? Yeah, uh, Jadion, he's a good batsman of yours, right? Yeah, he's a good batsman. I'm looking forward to seeing him. <laughs> we're in and we're good right now. Vito saying that some security guards had clocked us already. I'm going to go say what's up. Y'all like the fit? <laughs> Team India all day. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to look a little icy out here. Are you a vlogger or something? No, no, I'm not a vlogger. I actually make um, adult films. Oh, okay. The aim is to meet someone here and then just this like guy. make a film together. And make <laughs> adult one. films. Hello. Oh, wow. This is great timing. Nice to meet you guys. So they watch some of my content. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I think I'm the cricket equivalent of Peyton Manning. I know how to read the field. Oh, no, what? Big equivalent of I think I'm the cricket equivalent of Peyton Manning. I know how to read the field. Big forehead. I'm white. Or I identify as white, but I'm just Team India. <laughs> Where am I from? Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah. India are going to use the England today. Oh. Well, you think you know cricket better than me? <laughs> yeah. Is that ever people who like run on the pitch? Nah, they won't. That would be mental. If some like the guy was pretending to be in the Indian team, what we were waiting for was for a batsman <laughs> to get bowled out. So once That's he crazy. walked off, Jid would be able to walk on yeah. and take his place. Over here. Oh no. Oh jeez. Hey. I think I should be out there. Or shadow. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me take a picture with you, 
Of course. So who do we support today? So my mum and dad obviously born in India. Yeah. I'm born here, so I'm, born, I'm sporting England. Sporting England? Yeah. So you're snaking your mum and dad? Snake, you know? Because if you told me right I'll now, I'd support India. Alright, then that's it. I'm supporting India with you then. Come on, India! Come on, India! Let's go, India! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! <laughs> then the time came for me to give Jid the signal to get onto the that's field. Crazy. And the question was, Let's go. would he fold or would he pass? Let's get it! Yo, 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 yo. Next time someone goes out, that's when. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you guys have one on that? Uh, where, where are you? We're at Hobgob, but to my left, it yeah. says bash. It's like some red bash. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Bash yeah, I, I, I know where you are. So just go on and have ready, everything ready. Okay, good luck, my friend. Appreciate you. Here we go. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, they are. Ah, oh, wait, they're coming over here. Maybe it was because I was nervous, but it looked like they were adding more security guards in the area that I had to hop over the fence. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna have to fold right then and there. <laughs> off the bat, no pun intended. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh yeah! Come on, bring yeah. up the new batsman! <laughs> Bring him on! I feel like the bat might bring too much attention. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Like, oh, like, get out there, man. I feel like I'm gonna get arrested. Let's, Let's go. have one oh, chance. Shit. Right Let's there. go. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right when I hopped over, my feet touched the grass. I felt free. I was on the pitch <laughs> with my Indian brothers. Nothing could stop me. I gotta help them out! Bring him back! We love you! Except for the cricket security team. India! India! The motherland! My bad, my bad. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. She did it. She did it. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I couldn't believe it when I saw Jid running on the field. Hey, in that way. They are so crazy. They are so crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Damn. And I want to join them once. That's that's crazy. One night is very slow, but also I was very impressed at the fact that ah, he I was impressed was willing as well. to do that. I didn't know he had that in his locker, and seeing him that's running crazy. on the field, it, it really impressed me. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to hurt my arm. You kind of hurt my arm. I'm not gonna do nothing, bro. You kind of hurt my arm. I'm not gonna run away. <laughs> I got to do it for India. Being real with you, my friend, that was my friend who went on the pitch. Good. Yeah. I actually told him to do that. They're gonna ban him now, right? So he's probably um, in prison. No. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a bit silly, isn't it? I thought it was like baseball in America. Before it was like baseball in America. Yeah, we always run on our when they say anyone encroaching on the pitch gets arrested. Nico never relayed to me that I was gonna get arrested. I mean, I thought I was just gonna get kicked out of there. There I was, getting interrogated by English police. The only thing that boosted my morale was hearing the crowd chant, Jarvo, Jarvo. Look at them. Screaming a man's name that's not even mine, <laughs> just like my ex. That's good. Can you put my hat up? I can't really see you. There you go. Thank you. No one said that to me. It's also yes, a criminal offense. You are going to be arrested. Yes, sir. Stop! Stop! We need you guys to hit that like button right now and that's subscribe good. to my channel for a chance to win a custom Excuse PS5. Me. Okay. Not hey, bro, I want to win, bro. I don't got a PS5, bro. I don't want to win. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like it was planned. Jid, unfortunately, got taken away by security. And just mm. like that, my real plan came into fruition. Get Jid arrested so I don't have to compete in this stupid series. God, I'm annoyed he even <laughs> challenged me in the first place. Wasting my time. Jeez. You gotta admit, I was kind of fast out there, huh? Not really, they caught you instantly. <laughs> I slowed out. Like the middle. They were kind of slow. If they were slow, they made you look even slower. You had a bat with him. Yeah. No, in case India asked me to bat up, I wouldn't have my bat ready. Was up and yeah. Yeah. It on YouTube, Insta, or and uh, What about TikTok? TikTok? Oh, Little Nas. Yeah. <laughs> That's a singer. <laughs> Little Nas X. Yeah, I do rap too. Right, no. Got represent for India. Got India. 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 So now that that's done, this you have any you're watching this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, it's time to go. It's time yeah, to go. No, and load this guy's just to make sure he was being arrested yeah, no. for a good few months. <laughs> he's with you, though, isn't he? Because he's the one that's followed you outside. I don't know. He yeah. might just be a fanboy. So, who's got your phone? That man there. That man right there. Are you able to get his phone from that one there? Just gonna beat him up, rough him up a little bit, you know. The thing is, my favorite player, he got bowled out. To be fair, he wasn't even able to play. Like they carried him out before he could even do it. Don't try and re-enter. 
Yes, sir. Because guess what? You're quite distinctive. I'm the only black guy watching cricket, so well, it'll be not, pretty. You're not the only black dude in there. Uh, I didn't see any. I didn't well, see okay. any. But what you are is probably the only American black dude with an India shirt <laughs> with that on the back. And one of my most dire hours, police surrounded me. I had nothing to look forward to. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I remembered seeing Nico pleading my case with the English police to let me go. I'm not gonna lie, he's actually a pretty good dude. Complete idiot streaking on the game, ruining the match. Bro, man. come on, man. It was just all a good fun, idiot. bro. It was Shame just for fun, you, bro. Man. Why are you doing that? You're wrestling. Without, without. Ooh, for real, I'm, I came down here just to watch the game. Yeah, that's fair enough. And, and then he's just running on, on the pitch, just inter interfering. You'll be dealt with. Can I go back to time. India, though? Would I be able to go to their game? You can go to Ban him forever. I don't want to see him okay. in a cricket match. That's all I need to know. I rep India. Oh, Thank you, guys. Yeah. Subscribe to T Series. He's getting away. What's his name? Jarvo. I. Was fuming. I wanted him locked up for a good <laughs> six to eight months so I didn't have to compete in this stupid uh, series. That's like good. I said, man, I came here to win, not play around. This next one, for sure, gonna make him fold. Mm. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I love this. I love this. Tell me down below what you guys think about it. You see, this one means a lot to me because mm. I visualized it perfectly. Nico, he likes to put people in awkward situations. So I'm gonna take a page out of his own book and put him in an awkward situation. Ooh. I had him meet me at a random street in LA and the plan was in motion. It's in motion. So you got me here to walk. You couldn't just tell me to Uber to, straight to the suit shop. No, nope. we're gonna go through the whole process together. This well, maybe it's, this is gonna be a fake robbery. And you're gonna see if I get scared. <laughs> you, you're gonna guess him, bro. That's, that's the one right there. Jid had me walk around this the street for absolutely no reason. It was a good start and a reason why I hate that man. The baby right there is gonna tell you everything that we're about to do. Ma'am, it's time. Please have your baby tell him. Male <laughs> flip. <laughs> it's crazy. How do I look? You look great, man. So you're gonna tell me what we're doing yet? So Jade's got me dressed up all nice. Fresh! Classic! But my question was, classy. what the hell did I need that suit for? Because classy. he wasn't telling me. It was being very weird. And it was giving me ideas for the future. Yeah. After you, Nicka. That's to you. Okay. Come on, man. Let's see. Why are you being so quiet? I can literally taste the fear off of Nico. <laughs> Trust me, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Damn. There's people there. There's people right there. <laughs> so we walk into this theatre, and the first thing that comes to mind is that this is some type of French TED talk. Possessed <laughs> is it is in French. What's wrong, bro? So what? What are we going to be talking about? Huh? Come on, Nico. What's so wrong? There we go. Hey, how are you? Yeah, the man of the hour is here. This is the guy. Hey, man, how are you? This is the guy. That's me, my friend. Guy. I'm gonna wire you up real quick. Do you know the topic of this, second, my friend? When I went on Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive, <laughs> I was talking to him before the show, and he was telling me how he invited Nico on as well, but Nico didn't want to come because apparently he has a fear of talking for long periods of time, especially ooh. podcasts. Ooh, then it hit ooh. me. If this man is afraid of talking on a podcast with three other people, imagine making him go up on a stage and talk to a crowd of That's tons crazy. of people That's about crazy. a horrific topic. So, I set him up for a talk. That's good. A TED talk. I've heard on multiple occasions how you're not really well at public talking and everything. I don't like public talking, no. You don't? <laughs> no, so, don't. that's why I want you to get over that phobia, man. That it's good. true. I don't like public speaking. Believe it or not, it's my biggest fear. And somehow, Jid managed to find this out <laughs> and use it as ammo against me. Out there, we have a group of people and I have a presentation for you. And you don't have to go through the presentation and give a well-delivered speech, well thought out and everything. So the presentation? Presentation. Okay, what's this presentation about? You'll figure out when you get out there, man. Yeah, I mean, crazy. you saw the title of it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't know, you'll see soon. He was probably in his head thinking, oh, I know about his deepest, darkest <laughs> fears. Nico, I'm the biggest menace. I know everything. Is he all good? He's okay. That's crazy. He's all good. Good luck, Chad. Zestar. When I went out there, my heart was racing. There were so <laughs> many people, and I had no idea Damn. what I was even going to talk about. Mm. I see we've got a great audience, and Damn. my name is Nico Milana. I'm Milana. Myself okay. to you all. And we've got a nice talk going on today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, without further ado, Let's should we get inside? Yeah. yeah? Good crowd. Good crowd. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes there's a delay. <laughs> All right, well, 
don't know if this was just a sick <laughs> part of the prank, but the whole presentation wasn't working, which meant I was just stood there looking like an idiot. And I didn't know how to get it to start. Sometimes you've got technical difficulties, so can we get like a mechanic on the stage or am I just going to have to keep pushing it? Sorry everyone, I don't really know what's going on. Just give me one moment, please, okay? It's, it's not working, my friend. Yeah, that was definitely part of the plan for the presentation to stop this working. Case. I'm the biggest menace. Sorry about that, everyone. My apologies. Technical difficulties. It's my first show in LA. Okay. Today's TED Talk is why incest should be legal. You guys just need to hear me out, all right? Are you serious? The first <laughs> thing he wants me to do is tell the world that I'm an incest on it. I hate that bald-headed prick. <laughs> To this day, I can't believe it. Yeah, Incest is the act of when an individual yeah, has screen. hardcore, hot, steamy, intense, hardcore sexual intercourse with his <laughs> or her own family members. Like it or not, we are all collectively a byproduct of incest. Therefore, yeah, it is only natural that incest must be legal. Think back to your first kiss. <laughs> it was probably with that one cute guy or girl in the back of your seventh period math class. Mine, however, was with my cousin at the age of 14. All right? Dang. I think the worst part of the whole incest talk was the fact I was made to say vivid details of my own experiences. Whoever wrote that is some sick yes. individual. Yes. They are ill yes. and they need help. What's your cousin's name? You there in the pink dress. Uh. What's your cousin's name? <laughs> you, do you have any cousins? You have plenty. So plenty of options. You see what I'm saying? Well, you wouldn't mess with that. Well, you'd be ha you'd have a lot more of an easy time finding like a significant what? other if you focus on your cousins, or in some cases, your brother. Uh, All right. Side note: Could I get some water, please? That'd be nice. If I could get some water. My throat was so dry, so I asked for some water, and this was so inhumane. It it literally fell on deaf ears. No one wanted to help me. If not, no stress. All right, let's let's keep it going. Nickel really thinks that we're gonna help him out. No, we're here to watch you suffer. Adrian Houghton, a notable genetic professor, has proven that children who are That's born crazy. from a male and female outside of their family turn out to be lower quality form of human. He also adds that those who are born from the likes of incest naturally have a higher form of integrity. Am I winning anyone over so far? There we go, brother. Smart guy, all right? I was hoping for the audience to get up and stone him to death, really. Like, I want them to be completely disgusted. You know, some sicko that actually agreed with the things. <laughs> this guy is sick as well. I'm saying. That's crazy. Let's continue, let's continue. XXX rated videos has proven <laughs> to leave a negative impact on the mind because of the false expectations that are broadcasted in these videos. All right? I have a four inch dick. But I'm okay with that. And why am I okay with that, you ask? Because my sister perfectly accepts me for who I am down there. Four inch dick. There was absolutely no reason for Nico to say that whatsoever. <laughs> What I hope Mr. Johnson likes his stem This is crazy. Just bro, explain to him like he's a child. Bubbling. Yeah, that's bubbling. That's crazy. No more STDs. As a child growing up, my favorite NBA player was none other than Magic Johnson. So after I heard the news that he had contracted HIV, it broke my heart. My cousin had HIV. Your cousin? Yeah. Your actual family member? Yeah. Probably because you're sleeping with someone outside of your family. Sorry. Called celibacy. Celibacy? Yeah. But why on earth would you, like, restrict yourself from the pleasures of life? Yeah, you want someone else's stuff all over you. I wouldn't want anyone else's stuff unless it's my family member. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's not gross, so it's literally That's natural. Do you think you've got any family who have done that in the past? <laughs> Maybe you should look at the mirror. Okay. <laughs> I am openly saying what I am. I am, I am literally in a relationship with my sister. I have a four inch dick. I'm celibate and that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's really, really just making me very uncomfortable on the side. This was the worst <laughs> thing I've ever done. These people <laughs> passionately hated me. 
Why do you all feel the need to speak on other people's lives? Why should I be breaking the law every time I sleep with my sister? <laughs> not decisively, I'm not admitting to that, but I'm saying if I so chose to. Nicholas making this way more difficult than it needed to be. I mean, all he has to do is just read the slides. Is he actually enjoying this and learning something new? Or is he just bugging out? I can't, I can't tell. <sighs> God. Anyways, this is when I realized incest was the only way to truly maintain a strong connection within our genetics. So, Sorry, I didn't give you permission to speak. Let's keep this moving. Jid made this whole challenge that I had to stay in character, so I had become the incest man. But no matter how many times I pressed next slide, it was never ending. Society would be much better and we would have a utopia if incest was legal. That is an image on the left. Traditional societies all at war with each other. That's crazy. That's Guys, keep it. And is, is, is incest legal in Mexico City? That's racist to say that Mexico That's not racist. That looks like that. It looks like shit. Yeah. That is not racist to say that. How is that racist? We are not like that. There is no race in that left <laughs> image. It is just talking about society as a whole. America's like that. I am the last thing from racist. I am an ally of Mexican people. This stupid challenge was going to get me cancelled. And I just needed to stop because I wasn't coping very well. And there was just this one lady who had the biggest issue with me. Is there anyone here who wants to make a statement on that? Sorry. How horny are you? Horny? Like, why are you just thinking everyone has to have sex? No, I think the opposite. I don't think everyone should have sex. I think you should, uh, everyone in your family should have sex. With each other? So like, yeah. Huh? Like, orgy? That's disgusting. I mean, that's how I'm understanding, but that's not really want you to clarify. <laughs> what the heck? No, I'm saying, see, if I'm explaining wrong, then I apologize. Okay, okay. All right? He does have a choice, but not every day. So only if he <laughs> leaves one partner, he can then choose another partner. No, anyone else agree what I'm saying? Sorry. You, that's crazy. Well, I wouldn't personally sleep with my father as I am not homosexual. But if I was, I would be open to the idea. Oh, yeah, that's, no. <laughs> I'm demonstrating incest abilities. I don't have any family member in this crowd. And I would rather keep what's in the bedroom in the bedroom. Why would I be up here on this stage if I wasn't into it? Why would I be campaigning to get it legalized if I wasn't into it? Did you say anybody? Not everyone would be willing to um, get up on this stage. Let's keep going. I was making people <laughs> uncomfortable, getting called racist, but this is genuinely the worst thing that I had ever done. Personal disgust or religion is only a reason why one person would not want to personally engage in what I call consanagagamiri. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jid has never said a word that big in his entire life. It's not in his vocabulary. So I don't know how it spawned into the slide in the first place. And the toughest part of all of it was composing myself so the crowd didn't think that I broke character. I didn't know what to do. So I pretended to cry. Okay, sorry. It's not, it's not nice to be on a stage and everyone think that you're some type of freak. I just want to be seen as a normal individual like everyone else. So why do I make people uncomfortable? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Free conclusion. Can I get a final raise of hands for anyone who has learned a thing or two from this presentation? It had been an hour minimum and I was finally on the final slide. Somehow I managed to make it through this hell. It took a lot of research, courage and thought for me to be able to present this proposal to the world. So I want to thank everyone here for taking their time of day, for allowing me to spread this message. Some of you have been horrible, but on the majority, 
some of you have been willing to listen. And again, I believe the world will be a better, bigger it's and brighter crazy. place with the legalization of incest. So let's look bro, forward that's to the future bro, and I keep don't moving people, forward. That's, that's really in there. That day and well, I don't know people, but I, I feel like there are people, there are people in the world that's really on that. On that. If you're on that, you're watching my video right now, bro. Any get some help. I thought I put Nico through enough, so it was finally time to end his suffering. Actually, we didn't pay him anything. I've set this all up to see if he would fold, and he didn't. So give him a round of applause. <laughs> I've made it through the worst thing Shit. I've ever done. I apologize, Jude, because if you couldn't get me to fold on this occasion, I don't see how I'm ever going to fold. I'm Shit. unfoldable. Oh my gosh. I am not an incest man. I Sadly, promise you. he doesn't believe in incest. <laughs> Oh, that was painful. And I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's I'm crazy. Nico. I'm not going to lie. I did not think he was going to get passed out. That's crazy. But it's not just my videos. Nico's posting too. So be sure to go subscribe over to his channel and let's see what he got cooking for next week. One of Nico's signatures is that he sneaks into rain. That's me. I was thinking. Instead of doing some pussy YouTube boxing, why does he do something real? Are you scared? Yes, I am scared. With the task of actually having to do something in the ring, me finding the shit. I know it was an easy fold. I'm telling you, there is no way I don't get in the ring. No way. Oh, it's not over yet. Is that a fold? We can end this now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Was returning. That's crazy. <laughs> April 12th. Yeah, bro, definitely. Guys, there was a video for y'all. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like down below, share it. Tell me what you want to get. Oh, tell me what you guys want to see next. And I got you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check everything, every video. Let's get it. Guys, I love you so much. Air Force King.